Last night, an unimaginable tragedy occurred on the roads of rural Saskatchewan. Remember last Saturday, the season final between the Jets and the Blackhawks. NHL players in a moment of silence, their nameplates replaced by one word, Broncos. This week, as young Broncos players, a coach and staff are remembered and buried. A small plane arrived today at Humboldt's tiny airport, carrying a couple of those NHLers. Hi, Kevin. Here to shore up the families and Broncos president, Kevin Garinger, who've all suffered through the most unimaginable week. How are you, Jonathan? How are you? I'm good. good. Jonathan Taves, the Blackhawks captain, grew up playing hockey on the prairies. It was Winnipeg Jets executive chairman, Mark Chipman, who launched the idea of giving over those game-worn jerseys. So what we did here, guys, is on both sets is uh, just to authenticate them. Oh, that's just, oh my gosh. That is just... So that's the picture and the script from the yeah. game. John, do you want to pull one out of the Chicago bag, box bag here? About 50 NHL jerseys from both teams emblazoned with Broncos. One more sign, this tragedy has rippled wide. Uh, just to uh, be able to convey that, you know, we're, we're behind them and, and hopefully that brings some small measure of, uh, of comfort, I guess. There's lots of young men in hospital right now looking for some inspiration. What would you say to those guys, young players who don't know what their future holds in terms of hockey or anything else, really? Well, again, I can't, I can't for one second pretend that I know what it's like for, for anyone close to this event to, to know what, what they're going through, what they're feeling. Uh, but just to know that uh, the entire hockey world is, is there for them and that support and love is there. Um, millions of people that don't even know them that uh, I think are, are reaching out, showing their sympathy. So I think uh, they got to know they're, they're not alone going through this. The Jets executive and the Blackhawks captain were invited by the family to come and privately remember Jacob Light, a bright hockey prospect just like Taves once was. It's a somber ride to the funeral, one of three today. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Humboldt.